Hello, hello, my name is Kate, and today we're going to do a deep dive into what to actually expect when starting your own photography business. I think I was very um, shocked with how much I really didn't realize I had to do as a business owner when I started my business. All I really thought about was doing something I love and making money at doing it. There are several aspects that will blindside some people as to what they need to actually do in their business to be able to make it successful and have people knocking on your door to be able to book you. My name is Kate and we're going to jump right into some of the very big things that you need to think about. The first thing that shocked me was the amount of administrative tasks there were. I'm not joking. When I first started doing contracts for people, I would write it in a Word document. I would PDF it, send it to my client and say, can you please sign this and send it back to me? And they would ask me how to sign it. Well, this was before uh, Adobe really had more of like the signing capabilities. So I said, well, you print it, sign it, scan it, and send it back. It's not a big deal, right? <laughs> so it wasn't long before I invested in HoneyBook because I'd heard about this program and I thought, well, this kind of makes sense. So I invested in this program and I tell you, <sighs> changed everything I would never I mean, I couldn't possibly go back to that because that was <laughs> it's embarrassing even for me. But having a proper contract and my software system all really cohesive and organized was just huge because I didn't realize, I mean, the amount of emails you're going to have going back and forth with every single client, your contracts, your invoice, your galleries that you're putting out, that is a lot of time. If you don't have it organized, it's going to be the most challenging part of your photography business. By having HoneyBook, everything is organized. Everything has its own folder within HoneyBook and I can sort it by tasks. I have all of my files in there. I've got my questionnaires. I've got templates for everything. I've got contracts, proposals, invoices, all of my email correspondence all in one spot because now that my photography business has evolved to what it is now, I'm getting like 30 emails every single day. And this is outside of HoneyBook. So being able to have that organized is so huge. I used to try and keep it printed in a nice little binder and I would never look at it again. And that is a waste of time, waste of space. So figuring out how to organize your administrative tasks and realizing what it is you need to do for every single photo shoot, because there's correspondence. You're going to be sending out, I mean, at some point questionnaires, and that's something I love to do. You're going to be sending out styling guides, You've got proposals, which is going to include your invoice, contracts, all of those details. You're then going to be sending out sneak peeks, galleries. You're going to have another online platform for sending out your gallery. So there, there's a lot to evolve in all of your administrative tasks. And that's something that you really need to think about and have organized. I'm not saying HoneyBook is necessarily the way for everybody, but it's absolutely phenomenal. If you haven't checked it out, there's a link below that you can take a look and see if that might be something you're interested in. Another aspect that may surprise you with the time investment you have is marketing. I know I've talked about this in multiple videos because there are so many different platforms, but if you don't market your business, no one is going to come knocking. They aren't just going to be like, oh, I know of this one photographer out of thousands in the area that I can reach out to because they're all scrolling on social media and they're going to reach out to someone else that catches their eye. So you have to have your work out there. You have to have your work advertised consistently. Like you can't post once in a while and think that people are going to come knocking because they won't. You have to be consistent. You have to really build everything that you have for your business in your platforms, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook. Like there's so many different platforms, TikTok. Uh, well, I hate TikTok, but all these different platforms, you have your work out there and you are going to be having to have that organized. You have to have it scheduled, which is phenomenal these days to be able to have that scheduled, but having it out there consistently, 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 that is what's going to help you. But it takes time. You're going to have to invest a lot more time in your marketing than I think you really realize. By having all this stuff there, you're building such a strong brand for yourself. You're building trust for your clients. You're telling them that you are consistent. You are there. You are booking. You are this. You are that. It's that is where you need to be. That That's what's going to bring your clients to you, to your door, to be able to actually like showcase your work for that person and book them. Something I hadn't really considered too much when I first started out because everyone that I was photographing was friends and family, but you need to spend so much time 
investing in creating that relationship with a new client. You have no idea who these people are. They could have walked past them in the mall yesterday. They were just blending in with the crowd. So you need to learn how to build that client relationship with them. And that's going to be coming across with your consultations, with your emailing, all your correspondence in guides and questionnaires, all of this, this is going to allow you to know that client. If you don't know your clients, even if they used to be strangers to you, if you don't know them, you can't capture their story, their personality, their entire vibe. You need to be able to bring that through in your galleries because that again is going to build that trust. To be able to understand your client and know who they are at a certain level it takes time and it will take finesse. It will take trial and error as to how to get them out of their shell and have them feel that you are a friend to them and you are there for them for their photo shoot and their gallery that they're asking for. Something that as photographers starting out, yes, you are there to do a photo shoot. You are there to give them their photographs, but it can't stop there. The amount of time that I spend talking to clients after delivering their gallery is huge because I've built up this relationship with them at this point and they are now, I consider them sort of a friend more than a client because I know them and I know their family and I know what they like, their dislikes and who they are a little bit. Once I've delivered their gallery, I'm still going to keep that open communication with them because when they have a child in a year or if they have a family reunion in a year after that or they have a friend that's getting married, I want them to think of me first and be you know what, this person's phenomenal. They've been great. They're now a friend. This is who I would recommend in a heartbeat because you then don't have to be in front of that person on social media and you are now getting that word of mouth because it's not what you know, it's who you know because they all have a huge web of people that they know that are gonna be asking for photographers. You build that relationship and you maintain that relationship with them and it will take time and it does. it is an investment of your time, but being able to do that, it will really help your business in the long run. As a starting out photographer, yes, you know how to use your camera. You know how to take something beautiful. Otherwise, you would not be considering going into a business with your photography. However, you need to get to the point of knowing your camera without even considering what you're doing with your settings. You need to be able to say, oh, all of a sudden, I mean, the light's changing while I'm doing this video. And you need to be able to change your exposure so that you're not overexposed when that sun pops out, underexposed when that cloud is then all of a sudden covering that sunshine. You need to not even be able to think about what's going on because as soon as you're taking your attention from your client to your camera, you have lost, you've disconnected with your client and they're then, okay, I don't know what to do now. You don't want that because that will change the entire vibe of your shoot. So you need to know your gear. You need to be always evolving your gear at, at, at a price point that you can, but knowing, learning, education, do workshops, do online tutorials, do YouTube videos. There's such a plethora of information out there. There's always education that you can do for yourself that fits your price point, but always learn, always practice, always evolve everything. Because if you are stagnant in your education and your training, your portfolio, it's always going to be the same output that you're giving to your clients. And you want to evolve with them. As your client base grows, you want your experience and you want your knowledge and your growth to also grow with them. And that's that's going to help you at some point go from this price point to this price point and really excel with everything that you're putting into your business. So there you have it. While capturing a beautiful image is obviously what starts us on this path for creating a our business and building a portfolio, it's not what's going to get you a successful business. It's your admin time. It's the time that you put into your education. It's the time that you invest in knowing your clients and always knowing your clients and staying in touch with them. All of this and realizing the time that it's going to take because they say that when you run a photography business, only 10% of your time is actually taking photographs. And it's shocking how true that is because you've got all of your processes around it to be able to market and get your clients to be able to book you in the first place and finishing the gallery and actually editing and getting it out to them. All of this time, it's just, there's so much investment in it and it's okay but you need to understand that there is a huge time investment outside of just taking beautiful photographs. If you found this video helpful, I am so grateful to have you here and I would love if you hit that subscribe button and pop that like. I will be putting videos out every single week. I 
don't know what's coming up next week. It's going to be something amazing and something that's just going to really help you up level your business and give you something to think about and to be able to help open your eyes a little bit more as to how you can evolve your business and up level your photography. Have a great week and I will see you next Tuesday.